OK, we now have the Mimeo set up and calibrated. So let's get going. Remember what I told you in the last tutorial. Any program that works on your computer will work on the Mimeo or any interactive whiteboard. This means that you can use whiteboards without mastering the whiteboard software. I'll demonstrate with an easy to use young learner program called the Primary Eye Dictionary. First, let's open it. There are 15 topic areas in this software, but I'm going to choose food and drink. As you can see, we have a menu of words on the right. I'll click on one to select it. Now, you have a beautiful rich image to use in the classroom with audio files. Banana. B A N A N A. There are also 15 stories, one for each topic. Let's have a look at one. A carrot, a banana, an orange, a tomato, a coconut, and a small bean are lying on a big plate. But which one is the best? Look at me. And we have 15 songs. Let's have a look at one. And finally, we have a game. You can eat me with butter or jam. You can put a slice of cheese or ham on me and have a sandwich. What am I? I think it's bread. That's right. I am bread. OK, you'll see that nothing I have done requires any advanced software knowledge. If you and your students can use a mouse, well, you can use an interactive whiteboard pen. And this is true of all interactive whiteboards, not just the Mimeo. You will probably also notice that you can do a lot with just a projector and a computer. I think this is really important because if you can't afford an interactive whiteboard or Mimeo, there are many computer programs that will be excellent classroom tools with just a projector and a computer.